hello all uh, welcome to the new video in this video uh, we will see how to generate am signal by am signal i mean amplitude modulated signal we all know that a typical am signal is represented as shown in this equation that is the red equation which you can see here so an amplitude modulation signal can be written in the equation form as ac 1 plus k a m of t cos 2 pi f c t where k is, is another k it is the what is that uh, sensitivity factor of the modulator ok so that is uh, amplit uh, that is amplitude sensitivity of modulator I am talking about this k so all fine so how to generate this AM signal is the question. Since we need AM signal to transmit a message, as we transform the message signal to a AM signal, and then we transform it. We have uh, our own advantages of using amplitude modulation. So that all I have discussed in the previous videos. Uh, you can see what is the need for modulation and all of it. So uh, there are various techniques actually to generate a AM signal. Uh, so, first among them, we will see about square law modulator. So, this is the typical diagram. Uh, so, I will explain you. Say, this is my message signal M of T. And this is my carrier AC cos E pi FCT. So, first what I will do, I will uh, give these two signals as a input to the summer. So, what this uh, summer will do, it will just add these two signals. So then I will uh, send it to the nonlinear device. So after that, I will pass it to the band through the band pass filter. So by performing these many techniques, I will end up with AM signal. So we will see in detail how this works ok so first what we did uh, we have given the two inputs that is my message signal m of t and my carrier cos 2 pi f c t with amplitude a t to the summer so the output of the first diagram will be v1 of t will be simply m of t plus a c cos 2 pi f c t so uh, this is my v1 of t so we are now here ok at this juncture so we will give this input this as input to a non-linear device any non-linear device has a characteristic that is the output of a non-linear device is related to the input see let's consider just this part so I am talking about this one. Here my output is V2 of T and input is V1 of T. And this is my nonlinear device. So any nonlinear device is characteristic is given by this way. That is my output of nonlinear device is equal to K1 V1 of T plus K2 V1 square of T where k1 and k2 are some constants so this is my v2 of t so we already have v1 so substitute this one in equation 2 wherever there is v1 of t replace it with the v1 common this equation okay so we will write it down so we go t is equal to k1 times this is m of t plus ac cos 2 pi m c t ok plus k2 times m of t plus ac cos 2 pi FCT. This is my whole square. Okay. 
so simplifying this we get k1 m of t plus k1 ac cos to pi of ct plus k2 there is a a plus b was per use that formula we get k2 m square of t plus k2 ac square cos square 2 pi of ct plus 2 times k2 2 times k2 what is that m of t and ac cos 2 pi of ct so this is my d of t equation Let's put it in a box. So we are now here. So that is a V2 of the equation. So now if we pass it through a band pass filter with the correct uh, frequencies we can eliminate various terms here and then we'll end up with EM signal. So I will show you what is the final EM signal. Uh, so this is my V2 of T. So my next step will be to send this signal to the bandpass filter to get the necessary or uh, I'll say required EM signal. So I, as you can see uh, when we pass through, what is a bandpass filter actually first. So we have a this is a say frequency and this is a amplitude. Say this is my frequency response. That is at what frequency? What is my amplitude? So bandpass filter is a filter which will filter only the frequencies from one uh, band to another. That is say my lowest frequency is F1 and the highest is F2. So if I design my bandpass filter in this way F1, F2, it will take the frequencies only from this part to this and it will reject the other frequencies. Okay, that is my bandpass filter. So uh, what do I do now? Next step. I send V2 of T to a bandpass filter. So I will design in such a way that it, it should only accept FC. My bandpass filter should accept FC and reject frequency say F which is less than FC and reject the frequencies which is greater than FC. So in that way my message signal uh, obviously will have less frequency so this is eliminated okay and this is also eliminated because reject f less than fc that is there okay and also we know the equation that 1 plus cos 2x is cos square x. So we can write the same thing as cos square 2 pi fct is nothing but 1 plus cos 2 times 2 pi fc. Okay. Oops. So this is my x. Just replace my x here. So this is nothing but 1 plus cos. 4.6 or oh, nothing but 1 plus cos 2 pi 2 fct. As you can see, my frequency f here is 2 fc. So 2 fc is greater than fc. So I need to reject even this. Okay, 2 pi 2 fc. So even this will be rejected. Okay. So, what I will be left with after sending the signal through bandpass filter, my final 
equation say this is my output of bandpass filter so i reject frequency which is less than fc and also i reject frequencies which is greater than fc in this case greater than uh, my fc is this term so i have uh, answered this term in the equation so this is effectively my v3 of t because v3 of t consists of all equations and in all terms v3 of t will reject all the frequencies which is less than fc and greater than fc so my final am signal will be k1 ac cos 2 pi fct plus 2k2 m of t ac cos 2 pi fct so this is my AM signal. So this is my final uh, signal. So first what I do, I send M of T and the carrier signal to the summer and then I send to a non-linear device and then I send it through the fan pass filter. So I end up with this equation. So we can simplify it further as Okay, so we three of t is k1 ac. This I can write as 1 plus km of t and cos 2 pi fct, where ka is 2 k2 by k1. This is amplitude sensitivity. factor of modulator so as you can see this is nothing but ac cap this is uh, my amplitude ac1 plus this i term it as ka so ac1 plus km of t cos 2 pi fct so this is how we generate amplitude modulated signal with the help of square law modulator so there are uh, few more techniques we will discuss it in the next video Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.